Hey friends, you are back with the Aries Alchemist for another general tarot reading. And today I am doing one reading for all earth signs. So if you are a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and you have one of those signs in your sun, moon, or rising, something in this will be for you. So I'm going to pull all of the cards first and then get into the explanation. So Spirit, what do we have for our Earth signs today, please? <clears throat> Try to keep it in the frame. There we go. So the Hermit reversed. Page of Pentacles reversed. Ooh, and the Tower. Let's clarify those. When I said the tower, the wind outside just started going crazy. It was just so still before that. So definitely some chaos going on for you guys. Spirit, so please clarify the hermit in reverse for me. Three of cups. Please clarify the page of pinnacles in reverse. World in reverse. And please clarify the tower, Spirit. Page of Cups in Reverse and the Lovers. And what affirmation will help them through this, please? Okay. My best is good enough. And Unicorn Spirit, may I please have an oracle for my Earth signs? Expand your psychic gifts. And a soul card, please. Okay, it looks like some of these will have to be out of the frame. That's okay though. Moon card. I'll just make sure to raise them up and show them to you guys per use. Full moon eclipse. And just one more from the Cannabis Oracle, please. This is definitely giving love vibes. Also very clearly with the Lover's card. <laughs> the Temperance. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is that... A lot of you right now are in some type of third party situation where you could have hit the brakes on it or decided to call it quits, but you decided not to. Um, you decided to kind of turn this into a competition against whoever this third person is to see if you can win your person back over. But I'm seeing what's happening is that they're leaning more towards whoever this new person is. And even with you seeing how they're sort of slipping through your fingers, so to speak, you even still are deciding to continuously pursue them and try to win the competition, so to speak. And that's why the tower is going to hit the relationship. It will be over and it will not be your decision, um, especially with this Page of Cups in reverse, I'm just seeing that it's because they're feeling that you're playing this game, that you're not trying to win them over due to genuine feelings, but because you just don't like to lose. And even though they're in the wrong because they literally cheated on you, <laughs> they just feel like that's not fair and they don't want any parts of it. Um, So I do see that a lot of you will be taking this very personal, like thinking that it's because you're not good enough, but this is saying that you are good enough. 
And then I'm also seeing that with a lot of you, this 34 breaks down to a seven, which is definitely a number of rest of knowledge, assessment, completion, kind of things like that. And so I'm hearing that this was like a test for you. Um, you definitely have a bigger purpose and other things that you should be focused on. And this third party situation and really the relationship in general for a lot of you was just a needless distraction keeping you from what you should be doing. So this is saying to use this break not to get into another relationship, but to spend some time just um, sharpening your gifts. For a lot of you still, I'm hearing, should you give it one last shot? No. Literally, the answer is no. Wait, postpone, pause, say no. Just no. It's really time to leave this alone. You got the tower in the world. Like, it's over. It's definitely over. Conclusions are within reach. This is just reiterating again that this will all come to a head soon. And then you got the temperance. Being patient. Step by step you go. Um, I'm hearing that for a lot of you, the incentive to hold on is not so much as to compete, but because you depend on this person heavily for a lot of just like technical things in life. Like maybe they're the ones paying rent or they're the ones that are like your sole source of emotional support kind of things like that. And so this is just letting you know that you will be able to rebuild your life without them. It'll just take some patience. So that's what I have for you guys. If anything resonated with you, please, please, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to help me get the word out there. Also, if you're wondering how this pertains to you specifically or you'd like more information, you want to know if this no is really a no? Yes, it is. P.S. Um, but you can book a personal reading with me through the link in the description box. With that, have a great rest of your day. Peace.